This video is a PSA and a warning about what I believe is a safety critical bug with the DJI O3 system in combination with the new DJI Goggles 3. Last month, DJI released a firmware update for the O3e unit, firmware version 01.03.0000, and that update added support for the new Goggles 3. Since that released, we started to see random reports of people complaining about random video loss on the system. Since then, I have seen these reports build and I've seen more and more of them being posted on social media, DJI forum, and even on places like my Discord server. And it's now at the stage where I feel it warrants a warning because it definitely appears to be the case that there is a bug that is causing the O3 ear unit when used with the Goggles 3 to just lose signal randomly and it doesn't come back until you reboot. Now, just to be clear, right now, I believe this is specifically related to the combination of the O3 ear unit and Goggles 3. I have not seen reports of this with the O3 and Goggles 2, the Integra or the V2s. However, I will just put a caveat on that, is that this new firmware that DJI released was specifically to allow support for the Goggles 3. I think it's very likely many users out there who are running O3 on, say, Goggles 2 and Integra or the V2s may not have updated this firmware. So today, it is not remotely clear if the issue is with the O3 new firmware, the Goggles 3, the combination of these two, and if Goggles 2 users would also get this issue if they were to update the firmware on their O3 ear unit. Today, most users with existing O3s are going to still be on the same firmware they were on before because there was no good reason other than support for Goggles 3 to update it to the latest version. Now, there are posts and threads about this popping up. There's some on Facebook, there's some on DJI Forum, and I've even had it talked about on my Discord. If we just quickly look at the thread on the DJI Forum, there are people posting comments and videos. And interestingly, there's a quick video here that nicely demonstrates what happens. It's simply a random loss of O3 signal, and it doesn't come back until you reboot the system. It's just stopped there completely out the blue, and then it doesn't return until he went and found the aircraft in the grass. Now, as I've said already, right now, it only seems to be O3 ear unit in combination with Goggles 3. If you are flying with this combination, my recommendation is number one, completely refresh the firmware on your O3 ear unit and your Goggles 3, reset everything to scratch, rebind and start again, just as a mitigation factor to hopefully stop something that might happen. Secondly, I would strongly advise you always fly with a GPS a minute or at least make sure your failsafe settings are 100% and make sure you know exactly what's going to happen in the event of a random video loss. I also, again, will stress my recommendation that you do not fly with DJI's own remote controller system when using the O3 ear unit. DJI's RC is part of their main video link, and if you have a problem with the video link, the chances are your RC link will drop as well. I always advise you have your own independent RC link that allows you to trigger failsafe, punch out, or take whatever action you want to take in the event of, say, video loss loss. Now, if you're an O3 user with a set of Goggles 2, Integra or V2 Goggles, my advice to you is do not upgrade the firmware on your O3 ear unit. Stay exactly as you are. Do not change anything and wait to see what happens with this in the future. There is no good reason to upgrade to this version 01.03 for O3 because it gives you no other features. Something else just to note on this is I've also not seen reports of this issue on the Avata 2 in combination with the Goggles 3 or any of the other goggles. It really does seem specific to the O3 e unit in the Goggles 3 at this moment in time. Now today, this is all we know about this issue. There is no more information other than this. DJI, if you're listening, you need 
to get on top of this. A complete random loss of signal is not acceptable. It is not what we've seen from the system in the past. And it is something that does raise some serious concerns about the safety of using these two parts of your ecosystem together. As I've said already, it only seems to be Goggles 3, but it isn't confirmed 100% is the case. And I'd be interested to see if there are people out there who have upgraded their O3E unit to the latest firmware, but are flying with the Goggles 2 and Integra with that new firmware if you're having issues. Now, as I've said already, I deem this as a critical bug because it has safety implications. And as a result of that, DJI, you need to fix this ASAP. I also want to say, if you're out there and you're flying the O3 with the goggles 2 and Integra and you have updated your firmware to that latest version, let me know if you're having this happen. Let me know in the comments if you're not having problems. As I did say at the start, Today, all we know is it is Goggles 3 with O3, but that doesn't mean it isn't Goggles 2 with O3 with the latest firmware. It's really not the case as far as I can see that everyone would have rushed out to upgrade. And as a result of that, this could be being masked as a Goggles 3 issue simply because those were the users that had to update the firmware. Now, before we wrap this one up, I just want to add, you may have seen that some discounts are starting to appear on the O3E unit at some retailers. On Sunday's live stream, I mentioned that Flywoo had dropped the price, but I have now heard that it is spreading among dealers. Some areas in the world are even seeing discounts on DJI's website. It isn't clear everywhere where it's happening. I believe it is in the US, but it's not in the UK. And you're even seeing some dealers in the US offer the discounts as well. For instance, the DJI store has dropped the price in the US down to $179. In the US, dealers have also dropped the price as well. Get FPV, have it for $179 as well, down from $229. And for the rest of the world, there are discounts available on the likes of AliExpress. Although, do be warned, DJI does not offer a global warranty. I always advise against importing a DJI product. If you were to have a problem with one bought from the likes of AliExpress here, you would be required to ship it back to China, most likely at your own cost. DJI does not offer a global warranty like other manufacturers. This has obviously caused a huge amount of speculation and everyone is waiting and excited for 04. Don't hang on and think 04 is around the corner in one, two, three, four weeks. My understanding and belief is we're probably not going to see 04 till around February or March time next year. And the likelihood is DJI is starting to do some discounts now, partly in preparation for that, but partly as we move into winter as well and to try and keep the sales numbers up. It isn't particularly unusual for DJI to discount their products six months in advance. What I will tell you is this, as far as I'm aware, 04 is not imminent. It is not around the corner. So don't think, oh, I'm not going to go for this deal because I want to wait for 04 in one or two months time. Whilst no one knows 100% for sure, all of the noise that I hear is that 04 is at least February time before it's going to be here. So that's it. Be warned. Be careful if you're using 03 with Goggles 3. DJI, you need to fix this. It is critical. If you have experienced this, please let me know in the comment section. If you're not having problems, let me know in the comment section. If you're flying older goggles and you've experienced this, also let me know because I'm particularly interested in that, especially the new firmware combination in combination with the Goggles 3. Now, that's almost it from me on this one, but I just want to say if you have found this video useful, please do consider checking out the links to Patreon as well as buy me a coffee in the description. I want to say a massive thank you to all of my patrons for the support you give. Also, there will be links down below to my Discord as well. And finally, as I've said already, if you're having issues, do let me know in the comment section. Anyway, that's it from me. Stay safe. I will speak to you soon.